Hello everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm so glad that you could join me. I just wanted to do a little walkthrough of the journal that I was making um, for myself. It's basically a journal in a day. That's all it took me. Um, if I hadn't, you know, stopped a video, I probably would have had it done pretty fast. Plus, I was doing a lot of fussy cutting for another journal and I'm working on another journal. So I've got about three going, <laughs> which is great. I've got my inspiration back. Um, so anyway, it's a, um, for those of you who are new, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome. And um, I, the video before this one, I started a little journal like this. It's a, just a composition notebook. Um, I get them from Amazon and they come in a box. You get 16 of them in a box and they have all of these um, colors for the spine, but you don't have to use that spine. You could cover it with anything you wanted. I just used the pink one because it matched. <laughs> so, um, and I also have a very short um, pocket to show you envelope that I think that um, you'll really like. So. Anyway, um, the title is her story, and most of the papers I used in this um, journal is from Her Pink Bow um, by Amity Bloom. I had bought the kit several months ago to make something for myself and evidently didn't. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's the cover, and I just put it on with four little brads, and I've got it layered, and um, that's the back, and this is just paper from the kit as well as this okay and the top doesn't come off I've got that down glued and then I just have it tied with a bow with some ribbon which you really don't need because it still lays flat and you'll be so surprised what's in it it feels nice and squishy it feels great in your hands it's wonderful to bring to church to write notes or just to keep and um, create in every day um, say in the morning or in the evening, whenever you, you know, do um, your creating for yourself. So um, anyway, you open it up. And that's one of the things I like about these um, um, composition notebooks is they craft, you know, they, and it's pretty, pretty heavy covered stock. So um, there's you get 30 pages of paper. No, I'm sorry. Um, is it 30 pages? I'm so sorry. You get 60 pages. So you get 30 sheets of paper, 60 sides, because you get front and back. I didn't remove any of the papers. I did cut the papers, but I didn't remove any of the papers. So there's still 30 pages in here. Okay. So, and as you can see, it still lays pretty flat. And that's, I mean, it would lay a lot flatter, but I have a whole bunch of ephemera in here, which now you can see it's pretty slim. So um, I'll show you this in a moment. So you just open it up and it was, I didn't put anything fancy in it. So this photo here is um, my friend Karen from Boho Love. So I'll point out if there's anything in here that isn't from Amity Bloom's Her Pink Bow, then I'll tell you, okay? Um, so in here, I just paper clipped it because it's an antique um, um, document from 1859. And I wanted to be able to write on that or, you know, here or to keep it as a tuck. And I've backed everything with file folder. It says she inspired herself every day with the magic of flowers. And then this is just a journaling card. And then I just put a little paper clip here to keep it up. These little paper clips are buggers. So then you turn the page and on this page, I put this fussy cut flower. I fussy cut it out of one of the um, papers. And then 
you turn the page, and this is the um, envelope I'll show you how to make. It's very simple, but it's got a lot of pockets, and it's really nice. And I actually saw a reel um, on this on Instagram, and I don't know who it was because I don't follow her. And I saw her make it, and I thought, ooh, that's really cool. And I grabbed a piece of white paper, and I followed along with her and made it. So um, anyway, it's got a pocket here. And that's why um, Nazzy called it um, her pink bow because of the pink bow in her hair. And then it's got a pocket here. And then it's got a pocket here and a little kind of up tuck right there. And then I put a postcard in here and put a little stamp there. And then, if you wanted to, you could open it up, and inside the envelope, we have another, um, another card, which I haven't backed yet. So you just fold that in there, and I'll show you how to make this. It's very simple. It's like origami. No measurements, no glue. But it's very, very awesome, and it's flat, and it's it doesn't take up a lot of bulk. That's what I liked about it so much. This is just a piece of um, of the leftover um, um, leftover that, <laughs> and I put some um, trim on it, and I just hand stitched that on, and then glued it to the page. And then you have two pages here, and then this page, and then you flip it. And then this page is um, from a hymnal, but I thought it would be very good encouragement for me and um, give me a lot of good ideas. Like here it says, um, God, a mighty fortress, God be with you, God our fathers, uh, grace, amazing grace and then you know it has a lot of songs and stuff and I thought oh that will inspire me you know when I'm writing or journaling or creating and that's just the other side and how I got these pages if you hadn't seen this journal prior to today's video all I did was I counted two pages okay like this I'll show you so this was my first page that I cut so that's two and then so for this page I just took my ruler like this and I pulled tore it and then I attached this page to the torn piece okay so I didn't lose any pages I still have 30 pages 60 front and back so there's a page for me to write on and another page two pages and this is a little tuck spot let me see if I have something here I can show you because I don't have anything in that tuck spot but it is a tuck spot so you could tuck something in there and that's the other side and then I just put some washi here and there's two pages to write on and then this is just a little lace flip, antique lace flip, with something to journal on. And this could flip up too for some more writing if you wanted. And I sewed this on with a button and then I glued it on. So it's not fancy at all. And I will be decorating it further as I go along. That's why I kept all of my scraps and things in here. And then in this page, um, this is a you know, a pocket that came with the kit. And in here, I did um, a journaling card. And then, um, oops, is that stuck to that? And then she has a love that blooms. 
and this is just for inspiration for colors that I'll use, you know, throughout the journal. And then these envelopes I made, and I used um, Pam from Glam Junk Journals. She had made some with using Rub and Buff on her envelopes, so I did the same thing. And um, these were just envelopes that came with the kit. Um, and I, I printed them on some vintage um, typing paper. So it's like onion skin, but a little heavier. This is from um, Boho Love. So that just slips in there. And I just put a little bit of lace on it. And this is from Boho Love as well. And that's bad. And then this is just writing space. Just a little bit of, you know, matchbook writing space. And I put that in there as well. And then you turn the page. Now the pocket. And inside this pocket, I have, she's beautiful. And I just, um, that was just a scrap. So it says her story. So I just put that on there. But she's so pretty. And I backed that with file folder as well. These are just some extras I have to play with. It's a, um, just another envelope. And inside the envelope, I forget, <laughs> is an, another one of Karen's from Boho Love. That's one of her video. Um, oh, and these are printed on very lightweight from the Dollar Tree um, photo paper. So I backed it. the glossy photo paper to make it look more realistic. And then this is just embossed. And then here I have a tag, just, you know, for now, just because I didn't really have any place to put it. So, let's put the, oh, that doesn't go in there. That goes in there. And then I just put a pocket here. And then here's another piece of ledger and it folds down and here's another envelope and I put some more of that gold um, that um, Pam from Glam Junk Journals has suggested, the rub and buff. And I tore it because the envelope you just, it prints out and then you just glue it up the sides, but I tore it so that you know, I can do it like this. Pam made her own envelopes. So that just slides right in there. And another little paper clip to hold that closed. And then on this side, I have another tuck spot. This is just some of the paper. It says, um, she was beautiful for the way she thought. And then here is some tags I haven't finished yet. So I just um, put a tiny little hole and put a brad through so that I could punch a bigger hole when I was through. And you can write on the back of those. How beautiful she is dressed in pink petals. And it says she loved the roses. I love roses. They're my favorite. Well, hydrangeas. <laughs> well, they were on a close second. <laughs> and then here, I just, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, glued this flower here that I fussy cut off of one of the pages. It says, express yourself through art and flowers. And then here's another envelope that I just put some lace on. And some more photos of Karen's from Boho Love. And this is a letter that comes in the kit, in one of her kits. It might come in this kit, I'm not sure. But look, at is that not darling? Oh, it's so sweet. I'm pretty sure these are all her own photos. And again, I did that rub and buff. I don't know if the glare, 
you know, the glitter sort of is showing up. And I just put it on with a, um, you know, little Q-tip. And then this was a letter that I put on um, pink um, avocado stained paper. And I thought it came out really well because you can kind of see the pink through. So that goes like this and inside the envelope. And tucks right inside this and this is just a embossed scrap that I had. And then here's a dictionary page and you open it up and you have plenty of space for art or journaling. And then this is just a journaling card. And on the back, I did some stenciling with some um, stencil paste. Well, it's not real stencil paste, it's um, spackle, you know, drywall spackle. So that just goes in there. And I paper clipped it because that was kind of, it's very thin. So um, I just paper clipped it to keep it from flying open. And then two more pages. And then I made a pocket out of this page and put this large postcard in there. And I put this flower that I fussy cut out of one of the pages and backed it with some um, craft paper. And that just slides right back into this pocket. And then I think we just have two more pages. Yes. And then this is where I paper clipped this bag. And I made this bag out of tissue paper. And I put all of my spare pieces of paper that I cut, I cut them down because they were too long. And I can, you know, write notes and put them in little envelopes and what have you. I'll be making some more envelopes and things. And um, so you can see that's how I did it. I just took the page, I tore it, and then I attached this page to, to the torn page. So I didn't tear any pages out, I just tore the page. You could go back a video and see that if you are interested. So I have all my papers and then um, a whole bunch of pieces that I haven't gotten to yet. Just scraps more photos, a whole bunch of different things in here that I can play with, fussy cut flowers, um, that I can play with as I journal through the month of May. And this is a really good gift to have on hand, definitely a journal in a day because, um, you know, you're just basically tearing 15 pages and um, adding some scrap of paper or whatever kind of paper you want. And I want this to in there. It did a minute ago. Here we go. So, that clips right on here. And then that's it and I won't tie it back up now I'll show you how to make that envelope so easy it's an envelope with all those pockets I'm going to use this paper because I already have it printed and I'm going to be using it in my next journal so all you're going to do is <coughs> you're going to fold it like this I wonder if that matters Fold it like this. Let's see. We'll fold it like this. So you fold it like this. Double sided is nice because then you don't. So you fold this here. You fold this here. Then you take this on the right hand side. You bring it up like this.
and line it up so there's a point here. Okay. Then you take it, turn it like this, flip it over, and fold it like this. Match it up along the line and fold it. And now you have your envelope, okay? And you bring this around and tuck it right inside here. And then a person could open it all up and write inside of it if they wanted to. And now, <coughs> excuse me, and now you have your pockets. Let me just get some things out of here to put in the pockets. Now you have a pocket here. And you have, well, first, you have an envelope here. Okay. So you have an envelope there. And then, let's see, did I have some more ephemera in here? And then you have a pocket here, and you have a pocket here. Then if you want to, you just flip it over. That's why it's good if you had double-sided. And put this here. Here, we'll do it this way. I have a pocket here. And here. And this is nice because it kind of goes in here and up like this. So you could fit even more things in there, which is very nice. You know, you could put this here, which would look cute. And then you could put this here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five things in there, plus what's in the envelope. So that's six. So that's all. That's how I did it. Very, very simple. And adorable. And no tape, no measure, no glue. But an adorable envelope. I think anyway. <laughs> it was not my idea. But it's so simple. So that's how you make that. I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough. And I'll be back later on this afternoon with another video, hopefully. Until then, be well, be safe, be kind, and um, God bless. Bye-bye, everybody.